Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our fixed perspective scroller, this uh, developer blog I'm doing. So in last lesson we just set up the scene and today we're going to work on the character movement. So let's get right to the point. I'm going to select our player and we're going to add a script and we're going to call this script mm, just let's call it player controller for now. Uh, but probably in the future we are going to separate this script into movement and combat and level up and all those things. So, but for now just let's make a player controller to control everything. So I think I'm, I want to make two things today. Is one is move the character around and another thing is that it may have some animations. Whenever you're moving some character, a car or whatever, I like to have a speed and a velocity. So velocity tells me what is the direction and uh, speed tells me uh, how fast we go in that direction. So let's make a public float speed and I'm going to call it movement speed because we may have some other, f other things like uh, attack speed and other things like that. We're going to have um, another uh, float and because this is a 2D game, I'm going to make the velocity also be a float. So it will be like minus one or positive one. Uh, if it was a 3D game or like a top down view game, we can use a vector three or a vector two because we will have more than like one direction. But because this is a 2D scroller, so it's left and right. Okay, so the other thing I like doing when I do some games is I don't like put a lot of things on the update. So I will make different functions, for example, get input, and this is going to process all our input. So I don't have to process the input here and call the function. So when you see your update, you will just see a bunch of functions and you, you will get really quickly what, what your update is, do is doing. So I make a get input and we're going to move with A and D. So A is going to go left and D is going to go right. So if, input dot get key down not to get key down get key whenever we're keeping our key pressed and what key we want to get we want to get uh, we can go key code a so this will move us to the left let's make it common okay so when while we're pressing this while we're pressing the key code a we do something here else if input dot get key up key code a and then we do something so this is when we start pressing and this is when we stop pressing okay so we have the input for move left and now we have to add the input for move right so let's copy that and this turns to oops this turn to an s no sorry a d because with the D we move right and there we go okay so right now we have our get input and we're going to put this function here so it's being called every frame so any input that we want like for example jump or anything we will make a separate function for it assign it to which part of the get input should be called in and then we are constantly calling the get input in our update function Okay, so to move, we will make an, a new function called move. And for this, we're going to need to create a new variable because this game is going to be using physics, the physics engine. So we need to have a rigid body. So <clears throat> I'm going to make a public rigid body RB. And this will be the rigid body of our player, our character. So later we're going to assign this on the inspector. Oh, you know what? So we will go to assign this on the inspector right now. So let's go back to Unity. And if you see our player, I already attach a rigid body to it and a capsule collider. So I'm gonna do it again just to show you guys. Um, so let's go to the scene view. This is our player. We want to add, first of all, a rigid body and make sure that the rigid body is not using gravity. Otherwise our player will just fall. 
maybe go through something or and because we're 2d we don't need the the gravity yet yet maybe we'll have some platforms and stuff but not yet later um, the next thing we want to do is add a capsule collider but if you realize the capsule collider looks like a sphere and is attached to the floor we don't want that we want to bring our first of all we want to bring it up to the height of our character right now the height is one uh, so let's center the Y higher a bit so if you see one unit is still too small for our player so we're going to make this 1.8 roughly okay our character is not 180 maybe 1.6 almost there um let's try with 1.6 i mean 1.5 sorry that 1.5 looks better and whatever value you have here just use the half on your y so it will be center so the half one half of that is 0.75 and that should be center and ready to go now that we have the rigid body we can drag the player into our script where we made the rb rigid body so then we can control the rigid body from here okay let's go back to the move function I said we were going to use the rigid body so actually this is very easy we just want to um, use rb dot move position and why we use this is because whenever you're using physics you need to use this function oh, I don't know why did I, I do that uh, you need to use this function to move something that can interact with physics otherwise you're just like teleporting your object and it can go through the collider sometimes so the best thing to do is just move position next we want to give it its current position so we're going to transform the position and then we want to add a vector which is where we want to move so the vector where we want to move is because we are in a 2d scroller so to the right or to the left we're going to say is vector 3 dot right and then we want to multiply this times the velocity times velocity okay and this will be times movement speed okay so we have two things here this is this can be negative one or positive one or zero okay so it can be left nothing or right and this is a constant value that just tell us how fast we move in any of those directions so if we buy a better quality shoes we can maybe run faster maybe we have a buff that allows us to run or maybe we have a, a curse that makes us walk very very slow that will be applied into movement speed okay and the velocity will be referring to are we pressing a or are we pressing d okay or maybe we're not pressing any of them so um here i'm going to okay so here we have the move function and we want to make another function called set velocity okay and here we're just going to make a float um, and just call it direction okay so and this will work for 3d like uh, going into any direction in a, in a sphere you can use the same but instead of velocity being a float you use a vector a uni vector okay so set velocity we're going to just say velocity equals direction all right so um before this works we have to actually put these two functions here so i'm going to if we press a we want to set velocity we want to set, set it to minus one okay and if we, we we want to set it in all of these calls so if we press is minus with we press a is minus one if we stop pressing a it's going to become zero and if we press d it's going to become one and if we stop pressing d it's going to turn into zero we have this done now what we want to do is 
which is called move. So every frame we're going to move and what we just do with A and D is just set the velocity for that movement. So let's try this. Oh, and one more thing. Right now you see our movement speed is zero. So if it's just zero, we're going to go nowhere. So give it a value like one or something. And let's try this. So, sorry. Okay, so I press D and whoa, <laughs> Sonic. Okay, um, let's find our character. Where is it? Okay, we went a little bit too far. Let me put, okay, try again. Yeah, you see we're moving left and right. Maybe it's a little fast. So I made a video talking about this. We should multiply this times, yeah, you guess it, time dot delta time. And I have a video about this. Maybe I will just, if you don't know what this does, just go check my video, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, we add time dot delta time and we try this again. And yeah, we got much slower. So now we can actually set a movement speed, uh, maybe five. Yeah, that's pretty good. But it looks weird because first our character is not moving and second, our camera is not following. So let's put the camera inside. Yeah, and now we can see, oh, we have camera moving and everything looks fine, great. Great, so now our character can move left and right. And the only thing we need to do now is add an animation. But for that, my friends, we are going to make a separate video. And don't worry, I'm going to upload it right away. Uh, so just go grab a cup of coffee, go grab a snack or something, and we will be right back. See you soon. Peace.